back to my channel. My name is Avery. In today's video, I'm taking you with me this weekend and I'm showing you everything that I eat, everything that I do in Atlanta. Atlanta has been my home for 10 years. I grew up in Georgia. So I'm just gonna take you with me. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite restaurants and yeah, we're just gonna explore the city together. So let's get started. Are you excited? Ah! Let's go explore, let's go explore. My cousin was spending the weekend with me and so I wanted to take her to one of my favorite restaurants which was Del Bar and this is a Middle Eastern and Persian restaurant located in Inman Park. They also have two other locations in Atlanta but I love the Inman Park location and we went for brunch. They have a lot of gluten free options on the menu. They always serve some bread and also some herbs and radishes on the side for a starter but I just ordered a classic breakfast with some of their amazing rice on the side. If you go, you should definitely get this rice. It is truly some of the best rice I've ever had. I definitely recommend making a reservation if you wanna eat here because they are on the Michelin Guide and so it fills up really fast and it's usually very crowded. But yeah, you could always get a seat at the bar, but I would definitely recommend making a reservation. The inside is just so beautiful, but you can also sit outside on the patio as well. There are so many different neighborhoods in Atlanta and it's hard to put them all in one video. But the next neighborhood we went to was Candler Park and we just stopped at this cute little market. We just wanted to grab a little drink before we go on to our next adventure. And so this is the perfect little market. It was so cute. Had a bunch of local produce and some essentials if you needed to grab something like that. They're running, running a little low. We wanted to do some shopping and so Pont City Market is the perfect location for that. It is an old Sears building that was converted into a retail restaurants and apartments and it's just a beautiful building and it's located right off the Beltline and so it's very easy to get to. It's perfect if you want to do some shopping or eat at some cool restaurants. <music> They also have a roof area which you can pay to go to and they have some mini golf and some games up there as well as a bar and restaurant so you can also do that. I just wouldn't really recommend it in the heat of the summer but maybe in the evening when it's cooler it's a good spot to be at. The Beltline is a walking and bike trail and it connects most of the neighborhoods in Atlanta and so you can easily walk to different neighborhoods or get on a bike or scooter to do so. And there's a lot of local restaurants and bars and things to do on the Beltline itself so it's perfect just to go for a stroll. And it also connects to Piedmont Park which I didn't go to but it is a good spot to go if you want a little bit more of nature. But it's awesome just to walk around and see local shops and restaurants. They have this amazing plant shop. If you are a plant girly, this is the shop to go to. It's called The Victorian and they have so many cool plants in here. It really is so aesthetic and so, so cool. Next place we went to was Croc Street and this is also right off the Beltline and they have this Croc Street Market which is filled with a lot of restaurants. I love Super Rica. It's kind of a Tex-Mix place and it's some of the best food in Atlanta if you're wanting some Mexican food. So definitely recommend Super Rica but there's so many good restaurants in here and a lot of shops as well. I love coming here if I'm not sure what to eat or what to do and this is just a great space to walk around. There's a brewery 
bakery and ice cream shop as well. Nina and Rafi is one of my favorite pizza restaurants and it's located right off of the Beltline. It has amazing gluten-free deep dish pizza so if you are a pizza lover definitely check out Nina and Rafi and then we have Hawker's which is a great like Asian fusion inspired restaurant so there's just so many restaurants to choose from it's hard to showcase them all in this video but going on the Beltline is going to be your best bet to find some good spots. just did some takeout which this is a restaurant kind of in Kirkwood slash Candler Park it's called Dead End but they have a lot of gluten-free options I think the chef is gluten-free and so everything on the menu can be made gluten-free which I love and so this is a great option and it has a really cool atmosphere inside but again we just got it to go because we were about to go to the movies this night oh my gosh this is so much all right, we got some food to go. We got some deviled eggs. We got a smash burger with a gluten-free bun, lots of fries, and then a salad. I think this is like a pineapple salad, yes. So this is gonna be our dinner. What a, what a feast. All right, let's try this burger. I've had this burger many times. Look at that. This is gonna be so good. Deviled egg. <laughs> what I really like about the restaurant is the chef is gluten free. They're like making the food gluten free. I'm pretty sure like everything has a gluten free option. I'm gonna make you try the salad. Oh no. Yes, you're gonna like it. It's only got one piece of lettuce. You're gonna love it. I'm not gonna like it. You are. Yes. <laughs> Why don't you, what don't you like about it? Do you not like the pineapple? Ugh. Oh no! You, you really don't like it. Wait, what? What don't you like about the it? The lettuce. Like the I, lettuce? I can hear it crunch my mouth. I hate the way it smells. Really? Yeah, everything about lettuce. Yeah. Sorry. It's so good. Good morning, it is Sunday and we are about to go to one of my favorite gluten-free bakeries and then we're gonna go to a farmer's market. Last night after we ate, we went to the movies and we saw It Ends With Us, which is pretty good. Um, it was probably like a seven out of 10. I did read books and the books are always better, but it was a good movie. And then we went to bed around midnight, but very tired today because we did we did so much yesterday, like I usually don't do that much, but since I was kind of exploring with my cousin and showing her a bunch of cool spots, we just did so much. Um, but it was really fun and hopefully today will be similar. But yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna get up to. I will bring you along and record what I can. All right, Sunday, I had to go to one of my favorite bakeries. It is Hell Yeah Gluten-Free Bakery. They actually have two locations and they had a huge line at the Inman Park location. So we just drove to Decatur, which is like 10 minutes away to get what we wanted. And I got a breakfast sandwich and my cousin got a Pop-Tart and a donut. They have so many amazing gluten-free options. Everything they have is gluten-free. So I highly recommend going here. Even if you're not gluten-free, it tastes so incredible. Definitely recommend going here, check out their Inman Park location or their Decatur location. Oh, 
Next is the farmer's market and we went to the Grant Park farmer's market. This is only on Sundays. It's honestly a huge market. It keeps going and going. They have so many great local vendors, local produce, local eggs. I just wanted to get some basic things here but it was just so cool to see all the local farms and supporting the local economy. I was really craving a matcha latte and so we went back to Inman Park to go to Harbor Coffee and they have a lot of great options here and I forgot to mention but a lot of places in Atlanta are dog friendly which is just great so that's why I'm bringing my dog pretty much everywhere and Harbor Coffee is one of those places where you can bring your dog in which is awesome but they have a lot of great options here and it's just a cute coffee shop. had so many leftovers from all the restaurants we went to so we just had that for lunch relax a little bit before our next adventure <laughs> My cousin loves Jenny's ice cream and so she couldn't leave without having some so we went back to Crock Street which has two Jenny's ice creams actually so we went to this one and got her a little ice cream fix. What is it? <laughs> almond, almond something brittle and dark chocolate. Nice. <laughs> so hot. For dinner, my cousin left and so me and my boyfriend just went to Gigi's. This is a Kendler Park restaurant. It's an Italian restaurant and it's so incredible. I don't know why people don't talk about this more because it's just such a great Italian restaurant and they change their menu so often but the food is amazing, the way they played it is amazing, everything is beautiful and aesthetic and it tastes so good and so I definitely like recommend it? coming here if you are an Italian lover because they know how to do it right. Thank you guys so much for watching. There is so much you can do in Atlanta. I didn't even show half of it, but give this video a like. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.